How did you get involved in cosmetics? I gave up brain surgery. I didn't like it. I got into the scalpels and the education and the medical profession. I just heavy, too heavy. <laughs> Joking. I gave up hair design and uh, hotel management. Strangely enough, at Sheridan College, I found it was a technically in indelible kind of career that it was nothing like what I thought hotel administration was going to be. It was just absolutely too much business for me. I found out I was a true artist and uh, seriously, um, brain surgery, I really truly got into it because I think you can tell a lot about people by what they look like. You can learn from people's images. So in this whole anti-aging world, what sort of tips would you give people? Uh, get lots of sleep and drink a lot of water. I think those are the two basics. Uh, when it comes to using products, uh, throw your cosmetics out every four to six months. Don't re-infect your face by using uh, old mascaras and, and dirty powder uh, tabs and things of that nature because it's ultimately the departments or testers you'll get fewer germs from than you will from reusing and reinfecting your own face. So you've worked with some pretty famous people. Uh, yeah, I, I think they were famous. It was pretty exciting to me. I'm still starstruck when it comes to celebrity, though. First time I, I met Ricky Martin or Ivana Trump, I found that was pretty, pretty amazing to even say I, I touched Ricky Martin's face or shook his hand. Who was your favorite person to work with? Ordinary people that never found beauty and confidence through the art of makeup and grooming and haircutting and styling. They're my favorites. But as far as celebrities go, uh, Jessica Alba at the film festival this year was, was nice. Dynamics like Joan Rivers and people like them, they're really good people. They're smart, they're talented, they help you with your own business uh, ethics and problems and, you know, shed a light on your own career. What sort of advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out in the business? Really know your technology, know your numbers, your skills of uh, the written side of the business of beauty, know your contents, your formulations, have uh, lots of sleep and really prepare yourself to be challenged because people today are very informed consumers. They want to know what's in the products you're putting on their head and on their face. Read the book work, read behind and between the fine lines and do your, your homework in the aspect of knowing your products inside out.